So today, as you can see behind me, we are going to do something that is quite crazy and probably not needed, uh, but it's overall like a, not really new, but new for us in ways of traveling to different locations. Now, yeah, you may have seen we have, we usually have been using piston bolts to go anywhere in this world, just for the fact that you could get into them and basically not to be at your keyboard or anything like that. You could basically get in there, hit the button, and you'll be transported to your location. Now that does come at a little bit of a downside as pistol bolts can take a while to create, especially ones that are, for example, like the Buddha skeleton one over here. This one is about 3,000 blocks long just to the location. And you also got to think about it, to get back to the hub, you also need another one because they are not bi-directional, they are only single direction. So that's in total of 6,000 blocks that need to be covered in piston bolts. So with these more farther out projects, those piston bolts take longer and longer and longer and exponentially amount of resources the farther you go with them, which of course takes a lot of time to do. So for this, actually this next project we're gonna be working on, we wanted to basically almost instantaneous travel between those locations and piston bolts are just not an option for that because they only have a max speed, I think, of 30 blocks if you go diagonal. Uh, 30 blocks per second, that is. Very the ones, like these straight ones, have, I think, a distance of a speed of 20 blocks per second. It isn't bad, it's still pretty fast, but these are mainly just used for the quality of life of not having to do anything, and you can just be transported to your location. However, with these faster ranges of uh, speeds here, you're going to be looking at a new Thing, which this is going to be a TNT player cannon. This cannon that I'm using specifically is from the Nut Tech Discord. It will be a link down below to their Discord, uh, which has the original schematic. There is a new one. Good mind, just watch one of the versions because it does change in different versions. So 117, there's one for that. And then 118 plus, you will have a different sort of version for the cannon. This one here, always if you wanted to join, if you're already in the Autocraft Discord and you don't want to join in the Discord or you can't, you maximum number of Discords that you joined in. This one will be here that is just a slightly retextured variant of the TNT cannon. All I did was change the blocks that are used. I didn't change anything else. This little part over here that I added onto it is not in that schematic. All it is, as you can see, is these little manual shulker box, uh, accessible shulker boxes here that way you can have your store, your totems and your ender pearls because you will actually need totems for this cannon to work properly. In my version of the cannon, you get a little bit more uh, signage that explains everything about going on with the cannon. Uh, so here, the original cannon just has like plus one, plus two, plus four, plus five. These aren't part of the thing. There aren't any signs here that signify where the, like the certain direction the cannon is uh, shooting. So I added these on, I tested this out myself and I put the signs here to signify uh, what is where with the cannon and this one that you need to click the note block to update it. So we'll go over how to actually use the cannon today as well. I can be such an asset to you, especially for near another hub where you usually have multiple locations going out. And that's like, keep in mind, it's only gonna be like really useful for distances around a thousand blocks or greater, just because even on zero power, I think the initial distance is a little over a thousand blocks. So you really wouldn't want to do anything, uh, shorter than that because it might not work the best for you. But yeah, make sure you definitely go check out the original creator down in the Nut Tech Discord. Uh, this is one of, the, one of the easiest things I've ever built in terms of, you know, the complexity that it looks like it has, but honestly, it was pretty simple to build. Um, nothing too fancy, but it offers a lot of features for, you know, how small the can it is. Obviously, most of these cannons have a lot bigger of size. Uh, that just depends which one you're using. But this one has an initial max distance if you have all 13 power selected. So you have 12 different, all 12 of these lamps on. Basically, what you're going to have is an initial distance of around 20,000 blocks on 117. Now, I think it's a little bit more and also 118 because of the way they change something. Uh, I don't know entirely about that. Uh, but yeah. I think initial distance of 20,000 blocks is plenty for this small cannon. It actually took me around four hours to build by myself. So the main part that took the most time is this top section up here. 
uh, mainly because of all the different stuff that you have to do and make sure you're building the TNT area very, very carefully that way you don't accidentally ignite the TNT and that's just shot uh, and destroys the whole cannon, which is why uh, it depends how you're, like if you're first time doing it, I would get up to that TNT area place or before you place all the TNT, make it back up if you can. Uh, if not, you got to be very, very careful. We did build this without a backup uh, one of the other times because I got a little bit more comfortable with it. Uh, but yeah, honestly, it's not that bad. Once you build it one time, you actually know what you're doing. So it's pretty straightforward. And once you get the blocks on top of the TNT, it's kind of difficult to update that, which you should be fine though. Uh, but yeah, let's go over how to actually use the cannon because that's going to be the main thing you're going to be doing with this. Uh, by default, these levers are up this. I'm just going to reset this for the purposes of this video here. That way we can actually get it uh, the way we need it to. Put that back in cache. So you can have a cast feature. Um, obviously with this two block of cobwebs here, it could be... A, very difficult to hit a lot of people in that area, uh, but it is possible to cache the Ender Pearls and launch a bunch of people at once if you wanted to do so. But yeah, by default, this one is up. I'm not going to change this at all because I don't need to update the cannon. Uh, by default, it shoots in the east. If you just load, if you just build the schematic the way it is, it'll shoot into the east direction uh, by default. So if you the way this item frame here is rotated for our example the redstone torch tip so where this redstone uh top of the redstone torch is facing uh, that is where it's going to shoot so the, for this example it's going to shoot southwest which is that direction uh, over there and like i said if you do rotate this item frame unless you click this note block it will still continue to shoot in its previous direction so say it's in southwest right now i rotate it to go west it's still going to shoot that southwest direction until you click this note block to update the direction you can just shoot in. Like I said, it does shoot in the four cardinal directions as well as the four sub cardinal directions. So you have northeast, southeast, and so on. Uh, like I said, we need, like I have the totems and under pearls. You're going to need a totem in your offhand or your main hand, whichever one you prefer. I prefer the offhand mainly because it's going to disappear immediately anyway. Um, it's up to you. That way you just don't remember it's always on. You don't need to actually physically hold the cob or the totem in the cobwebs there. And a very important thing if you are to use this. You have to jump into the cobwebs and face the direction that you're firing the cannon in. Or else what would happen is say if I'm facing, I'm going to shoot the cannon southwest and I'm looking northeast. What I'm going to do is I'm going to be shot out, but then kill all my momentum immediately in a sense. So we're not going to go very far. Uh, obviously that's not the goal of the cannon. What you want to do is get the furthest distance that you can with the cannon. And if you do use tweaker or whatever and, and you're using fake sneak, uh, you need to turn that off or else you will get stuck in that basket there with the lava, which is not main goal of the cannon as well and yeah, once you get in there you're gonna basically stand in here and shoot a pearl straight up you're gonna basically walk into as far as you can against these trap doors make sure you're looking straight up and then you're good it doesn't matter if your, your camera's rotated like this but as long as you're looking exactly straight up then you were fine to just throw the ender pearl through that and yeah i have this extra signs here don't spam wait for no block thing over there uh, before you add more power to it just for a precautionary thing uh, and like I said, this adds more power to the cannon. The more power you have, the more initial distance that you get out of the cannon. Now, like it is with this cannon, the more initial distance you get, you can also glide. But the whole point of this cannon is that you get the power dialed in as best you can. That way you, in a sense, right as you stop gaining all your momentum, you basically end right where you need it to which is at your location, which we'll do demonstrate here. So for our example, we need three power to reach our uh, destination, basically right on target. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna flip the one and two to add three power. You can of course do any combination of these numbers here. So we got one, two, four, and five. You can also mix and match them. Say you wanted to add five power, you can add either five or one plus four. Uh, so you need to add 7 power, you need to do 4 plus 2 plus 1. So that's why you gotta kind of dial down what you needed and what for. So I don't have the exact distance of how much power this adds, like how much each power adds 
Yeah, so distance. I believe one power is around um, one in a bit thousand blocks. But I could be wrong. I don't know entirely with that. Uh, but yes, like I said, once we have our power selected and we have our direction, and if you do, if you do rotate this, of course, hit that no block to update the cannon. Uh, now what we're going to do is we're going to flip it down to fire. Because we're only going to see a single fire. We don't need to catch anything. And you will see TNT from there get shot out. And of course, I have fake steep turned off, so I'm used to going to the corner there. But what happened there, of course, is the TNT from the ones that have the lamps on uh, got activated and then got pushed all into the center. You then fire. So you basically your pearl would hit over here and then you would be in that basket for a second there. And then you would get met the momentum from the TNT explosions and you basically just be sent off into your desired direction. So that's why only that one side fired over there. That way we get shot into that direction over there. So only that one corner, not that whole side fired us. With that whole side fired, we'd be going that way. So a little bit of logic into this, but it's pretty straightforward. That's all handled by this item frame right here, uh, which is, doesn't really need to be worried about because it's not been too complicated. Just single strength add in and subtract in. That's all it is. So yeah, now they have our, dial, our cannon dialed in. What I'm going to do put the totem in the offhand and put the pearl over here. I'm actually going to shoot a different direction here, so I'm going to just shoot north, for example. So we're going to hit that, update the cannon. You will see the back area fire over there. And that is updating the cannon. That way we will go this way over here, which is the north direction. So yeah, we're going to go around, I want to say it's around three, 4,000 blocks here with three power. So I'm going to do look straight up, hold the ender pearl. And I'm going to jump into the cobwebs and look into the north direction. So we're going to fire up there. We're going to do jump in here and look back here. So we can see we got shot into the north here. Boom. I'm not going to touch anything here. My keyboard, as you can see, got a little bit over... Right around four and a bit thousand blocks of initial distance there. Um, so yeah, we traveled quite far up there. And that was not even even looking up. So if I look up, obviously I could get a lot more initial height and then I could just glide the rest of the distance if I wanted to. Like I said, that's not the main point of this uh, type of cannon. The main purpose of this is obviously to get that initial distance. That way you're flying there pretty fast. If you look at the top left here, I did that my speed up. I uh, wasn't really paying attention to that, but you could probably go back if you weren't paying attention in the video and see just how fast the initial distance, initial speed was on just a three power. So three power and this cannon goes up to 13 power. So just imagine around four times that speed for the initial uh, speed of the cannon, which is quite crazy to think about compared to like your normal rockets or your minecarts, which are around 30 to uh, 20 blocks per second for those respectively. But yeah, of course, what you would want to do in this general spot is you want to have another cannon where your location is that way you can go back and forth uh without any issues you can basically instead of having to fly back like we're doing right now you could basically shoot another cannon back to the main hub uh, and then you're good to go there for example but the main advantage of this cannon is that we could have one at the main hub that could go anywhere in the nether basically for our use case because we're in the nether we could have one cannon at this hub go to every single different location here that we wanted to. Um, and we, all we need to do is then just build up one of the, another cannon at that location. That way we could get shot back with the hub cannon. Uh, but yeah, that's like the main use case of it. You can only have, you only need to have one for the hub itself. And the rest of them can just all be built at those farther out locations that would be worth it to have a cannon. It's also just pretty fun to actually use um, compared to, you know, regular custom bolts or, for example, ice paths or things like that with boats. Uh, it's really fun to use. I've never used one before. I've always loved seeing the original Pearl Cannons by XCOM. Uh, those things always blew my mind how fast you could travel, um, but they were obviously a lot more complicated. You needed chunk load and lines across the whole thing. Since you're shooting the player, the player acts as the chunk loader in a sense. Um, which is really helps out with, you know, the ease of building this 
Epic Cannon compared to those old Epic Ender Pro Cannons that you would need Junk Blippers for to load the portal, of course. But yeah, that's obviously, like I said, you can add more power if you wanted to. Um, but yeah, what I do now is we're actually going to go and build one of these in a time lapse. That way you can actually see the process of building one of these. It's pretty straightforward, just building it up layer by layer. Uh, but yeah, we're going to build one of those and then we can actually show you firing back and forth between that location. Uh, but yeah, like I said, it's going to be many use for our upcoming project that we're going to be working on here on Autocraft. And it's definitely going to be used quite a bit for that. So yeah, I'm going to put the location right around there, back to the southwest. As that course, we're going to go build the other cannon. And let's go jump to a time lapse of actually building the cannon. Let's just open a time up there with help from WAG or Higgin Productions, a part of the server here. We were able to build up this cannon in right around, I think it was two hours or two or three hours that we had this full cannon completed with the two of us, which is actually much faster than you could do a piston bolt uh, with the decoration, of course, that is. Uh, but yeah, over these long distances here, as you can see, we didn't really technically need this. Um, but it is around around close to right around 3200 blocks uh, for this location here that we have selected for the next project which you may have seen what it is on the other cannon there there's a sign underneath here that kind of explains what this main thing is going to be used for what this thing is going to be mainly used for um but yeah pretty pretty fast to build and we're only going to get better with building them so we have other locations that we want to build a cannon at for fast travel, we can very easily do so, which of course is the main goal of this cannon. But yeah, now that we have the main one in the hub all done, that one can be dialed in to shoot basically anywhere. Um, and all we need to do, like I said, is build one at the other location. And that way we can just shoot back and forth all over the place. Uh, but yeah, so like I said, we're gonna get our other totem of a dying and another ender pearl. This one's dialed back to same power shoot the opposite direction instead of southwest we're going northeast shoot this up and then face this direction which is of course the northeast and it'll leave us around about four seconds of initial distance so one two three four bank and there you go right there so of course you could dial this in like you could use maybe two power or we get there are right around the same distance, but uh, yeah, we can basically go back and forth between these locations uh, very, very quickly. This would be very useful for 
obviously resources, bringing that stuff over to the project because we will have quite a bit to do uh, just of that alone. One, two, three, four. So it's still getting dialed into the direct you know, angle that we need to look at, but as long as you basically count the four seconds and then bank into the right direction, if it just bank right, you should be in the right vicinity uh, to see the cannon, which obviously is pretty crazy to travel that amount of blocks in around four or five seconds, of course, once you leave the cannon area. But yeah. Uh, that's basically everything for here. I wanted to basically just show this cannon off in its own episode. And, you know, this is pretty much one of the fastest ways to travel in the game. Uh, in quotation marks, there is definitely probably faster ways to travel. Um, but this thing for our use is going to be extremely fast. And I don't think we need anything faster than this at this point in time. Because this is actually pretty crazy. Oh yeah, so you have all the information you probably need to use this cannon. This UI is kind of explained for you. Then you have the extra power here. You have your direction, your cannon is fate, your cannon is shooting. And then if you wanted to fire or cache multiple ender pearls there, uh, that way you could have multiple people get shot off at the same time. I don't really see how that could be that useful. It depends on your, obviously your use case because everything's gonna be used differently. Um, and then you need to jump into the cobwebs the same direction that you're facing with a totem of a dying in your offhand. So yeah, one more time here to see the cannon actually used. What I'm going to do instead is I'm going to look back to see the cannon just essentially disappear. And you're gone. It's that you still have the amount of momentum you have in that thing is crazy because I banked right hard and I still was moving even though my like, I should have, the momentum from that should have canceled it out. But there's just that much power even on three power here. We're not even getting the full potential out of this cannon. It could. And like I said, it's so simple to build uh, compared to some of the other things that are like this. So you definitely go check out the original creator in the NetTech Discord. There will be, of course, links in the description down below. Uh, Thank you to them for designing this and they were actually in the stream when we were actually building both of these which is actually pretty cool to see uh so yeah this cannon will get the most use out of anything i believe uh because it's just such a fun way to travel and also has a benefit of it being extremely fast so yeah make sure to like subscribe also the things and i'll see you guys in the next one